Welcome back to my new video. Now in the last video, I showed you how I made the folding attachment. So this is it. But today, we're gonna to test it to see if it actually works. Right, we're gonna try this. Now this is uh, 51, 52 aluminium. So it's a lot harder. Well, not lots harder, but a bit harder than the 1050 that we were using. Now the thing is, there's going to be so much tonnage on this, it scares me. And this is why it might not work. Certainly not over this length. I think if you had a small bit, it'd fold easily. But over this length, because these brake presses, the presses stuff, they're like 30, 50, 60, 100 ton, 200 ton presses. This is just me doing this. So, let's see how it performs. So what I've done is spread the rollers out, and then hopefully, because the tighter the rollers, the more pressure it will need. So let's just get on with it and see if it will work. And this might be a very long and laborious way of doing it. And I know you've got box pan folders that can do this sort of stuff. But this thing is different. The reason is, this can do tapered folds. Where? I think there are brake presses out there that can do a tapered fold. But they cost quite a few thousand quid. But, so you can, it's getting tight now, you can feel how tight it is, but... This is a very long length, and like I said, this is 16 gauge alley, and it's not a soft alley, this is, you know, this is the 5 series ones. So this isn't the 1 series, because you know, 1050 alley is very soft, it's like 99.9% .9 pure or something, or 99% pure. So it's very soft, very malleable, where this is 5152. And this is what the car is going to be made out of. So I'm just waiting for something to just go pop and scare the living daylights out of me. But at the moment, he's still going. Now, it's getting a little bit of the canoe effect. So what I'm going to do, again, because I can, is I can push them out slightly. Just slightly to reduce it. That's if it will. See there, yeah. I think this end needs a little bit more. The thing is, the tonnage on this is quite considerable. So I know with the brake press, you just Put your foot on the pedal and it just fold it, just like that. Done. But, when you haven't got one, and if you're in your garage, and you haven't got three-phase power to run the thing, you, know, you can get a converter, but... Right press will probably take up your whole garage. See this side, see I can actually... Because that side there is quite flat edge this side has got a slight bow in it but I can adjust it so I could have a bow there but flat there this is why it's so good even though I know I made it and I would say that but this is really going to do exactly what I want it to do Well, it didn't break, which was good. Pleased about that. That's folded. Not quite 90. Bit on that end. So very pleased with this one. That's good. Nearly 90 degrees. 
but he's done it. And is it square? Yep. No real canoe effect. Perfect. Right. Let's get another bit. Now, this is what I'm hoping makes this machine different to all others. Not that I've seen a roller folder anyway, but this, and again, it might not work. Should do. I reckon it will. But what we're going to do is we're going to do a tapered fold. So it's going to be flat that end, folded this end. Right, here it goes. So how will it look when it's done? That's the thing. How will it look? What's that? So that was about that sort of 50 degrees. Let's just check that that's still flat. Yeah, it's still flat. We're a little bit, tiny, a little bit more in the middle. Just uh, That, I'd say that was nearly 90. So I'm going to do a little bit more on there. A little bit more on there. And what we got? See, that's over 90. I don't know if it's going to spring back. Let's take her out, see what we got. Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> Looks sort of tapered, doesn't it? <laughs> that's that's all right. That is all right. So it literally. You can see it's folded, it's not quite 90, but very close. So you've got the fold there, and it just whispers away to nothing. To literally nothing. That's flat. Very impressed with that. So it's pretty flat when you put your hand on it. Oh. That is pretty good. That is pretty good. So that lies that's under its own steam. A little bit bowy there. But that is all right. Very pleased with that, very pleased. So I'm very pleased with this. So this is the only roller I know that can fold tapers and roll tapers and do long lengths, well, two meters, but all by hand. There's no plug in here, this is it. So after all this hard work, and I mean, it's been months trying to figure it out, machine it, because I've done all the machining myself, all the fabrication, everything. Design, bought, everything is finally done. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe and like. Uh, it all helps the channel so I can build more things like this. Hopefully I'm going to concentrate more on the rolls. Thanks for watching.